Hey guys, it's Chelsea, and um, I'm a little shiny. Let's not focus on that um, and red. I just got home from work and washed my face and got ready to make this video because I don't have a lot of time, but it's a video I want to make, something I want to talk to you guys about, a decision I made recently. So let's get right into the video. So basically this is going to be um, a kind of story time and just kind of like reasons for why I decided to get myself a dash cam for my car. Um, if you're unfamiliar with dash cams, just a uh, quick information. It's basically just a uh, video and I think sometimes audio but not traditionally audio recording device and they have ones with front facing and rear facing cameras in case you're like an Uber or a Lyft and you're going to have guests in your car or maybe you just want to have the camera on yourself or whatever. Um, but mainly front facing and it'll basically the difference between that and then ju and just like installing a GoPro in your car is that they only turn on and record when your car is on. You like hook them up to your car and it knows when your car is on to record. And then also uh, better than a regular camera because you don't have to constantly um, put new memory cards as it fills up. Um, the dash cameras automatically delete the oldest footage as the memory card fills up. So yeah, so that's why they're ideal. I did my research when I first thought of getting this, of you know why would this be better than having a regular camera, and um, those were the reasons why, and I was like, wow, those are things I didn't even think of, so that's why, um, that's the benefit of having a dash cam versus just anything else. So yeah, I got my dash cam in today, and I just want to have a conversation with you guys about it, and yeah, so basically when I'm on the road I live in Florida when I'm on the road and and more like an urban part of Florida because Florida can be like urban it can be real country and and you know real rural I suck at saying that that word rural rural I don't know how to say it it can be real barren out there and it can also be really urban so I live in like an urban more trafficy kind of place anyway that doesn't matter so basically I run into a lot of issues when I'm on the road like the craziest shit happens to me I'm almost hit all the time and I think this contributes to the fact that I have a really long I drive to literally another city for my job and that drive typically is only 30 minutes but with traffic and stuff it can go from 45 to an hour and um, especially on the way home and that kind of going home traffic if you hear that sound that's my dog Louie at the water bowl anyway <laughs> so I'm just like always getting into these crazy situations like you guys I literally was behind this 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 story really like just fucks me up every time I think about it I'm just like so confused I was behind this like white Mazda one day and it was it was one of those interstate setups where like each lane kind of goes a different way so I had to be in this lane this far left lane so I'm cruising behind this guy and he's going obnoxiously slow like the speed limit is 50 and he's going 45 and it's like dude so then um, I can't really get around him I'm like okay just chill I'm not riding his ass or anything and then I go to go around him and this dude speeds the fuck up so I speed the fuck up I'm going like 80 then all of a sudden I'm catching up to traffic in this lane so then I get back over into the left lane and he slams on the brakes you guys I'm talking like 70 to zero and then I'm just like wailing on the horn because I have like people behind me and it's like I didn't do anything wrong like it's perfectly legal to pass people if they're going slower slower traffic is supposed to keep right but you know this lane does go off I'm like going off on a tangent but this is just a prime example and then the guy like pulls over and then looks at me and then gets behind me and I'm just sitting here like is this dude gonna follow me home like I literally did nothing wrong I was just like you're allowed to go around slow people and the law I don't know if it's everywhere but in Florida traffic law slower traffic is supposed to is supposed to keep right if you're not going faster than the people in the lane next to you then you're supposed to get over if there's someone going faster behind you, you're supposed to get over so anyway I just run into crazy situations and just recently I actually had an incident with a police officer and it's it's such a weird story time especially since you guys don't know exactly where it is it's kind of hard to explain but basically I was on like an expressway 
and it's basically just like a toll road but it's kind of interstate like there's like multiple like three four lanes so at this point it's like three lanes and I'm behind this truck and this is like headed to work and so it's kind of dark which doesn't really matter but anyway it's dark outside and I'm behind this truck and the speed limit's 60 and he's only going 70 and usually people are going like 75 80 if they can but it's whatever. I, normally, I would have like blew past him going 80, but I just chill behind him in the left lane because again, of course, my drive, that's the lane I needed to be in. So it's so annoying. Like there's certain lanes I have to be in all the time, which holds me up. But anyway, so I'm just cruising behind him and I'm wondering why he's going so slow when there's plenty of room to like go, you know, but I'm just like chilling behind him like whatever, you know, I'm going to have to take this lane off here soon. And then there's an express lane in the far left lane that's um, blocked off with like cones and then cones and then eventually it comes to an end and you can get over there and use it like regular lane so basically it's three lanes express lane express lane okay express lane ends now it's four lanes so I'm like alright this is my time to kind of go around this truck like he's going really slow so I pull into that lane and I couldn't see because it was a truck and all of a sudden I'm behind a, a Chevy Malibu which is a very common undercover cop car. Anyway, so all of a sudden I'm behind him. And I'm like, holy shit, these people are going slow. So then as I start to hit the brakes, the cop lights come on. And I'm like, and he's in front of me. So his cop lights come on, I'm like, okay, I guess this is, I guess this is me. And the guy in the truck's like looking at me and I'm like, I didn't fucking do anything wrong. So I get over and get pulled over and the guy comes up to my window and he's very like condescending, being like, are you on any medication? Are you okay, ma'am? And did you see how close you got to me? That's very dangerous. And I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. I was like, I'm on my way to work. I wasn't behind you for more than 10 seconds. Like 10 seconds is too long. Like I was not behind this guy more than 10 seconds. He said I was swerving. He said that I got a dangerously close to his car and almost hit him. Hitting a police officer's car is a very serious offense. Saying that someone is medicated while accusing someone, insinuating, we'll say, he didn't accuse, but he insinuated that maybe I was on some sort of medication or I wasn't all right because I was swerving. I was like, sir, I was in the lane next to you. I got over into that lane. That's probably the swerving you saw was me getting over into your lane. And I didn't see you because of the truck was kind of blocking that angle. So when I got over and realized that we weren't going the same speed limit, I started to hit my brakes and you had your lights on. I'm like, this literally happened in under 10 seconds. How are you, you know, obviously a person would probably be facing forward, right? When they're driving as a police officer. And obviously you check your rear view, but how did you look in your rear view and assess in under 10 seconds that I was under some sort of medication or something? Like for me, if I was a police officer, I would have to notice someone like if in that example, someone got into my lane and they're swerving and they're doing crazy shit, getting real close, going back. Like I would have to sit there and watch the person for a little longer than fucking five to 10 seconds and just make an assumption like that. And it's so annoying because you're wasting my time of me getting to work, wasting your own time. You've pulled me over on an expressway at a point where people are merging from the right, the left, and their center traffic. It is going to be impossible for me to get back on here. I, I, I just wanted to give him the biggest fuck you, you... Mm, mm, okay, I'll hold myself back. Now, in that situation, I'm sitting here like, should I get this guy's badge number and report him? Like, he didn't write me up and he made it very clear that he wasn't going to ticket me or write me up. And I was just like, what would you fucking write me up for? Like, I swear to God, if you were to pull some shit like, um, what is... I don't know, whatever the driving, whatever it's called, dangerous driving, or I don't know the exact term, but you know what I'm talking about when, when they make that. I, I'm just like, what would you fucking charge me for? Like, what would you put on paper, honestly? And then I sat there thinking, like, wanting to get his badge number and report it, but I'm like, just fuck this. Like, honestly, this is so fucking embarrassing being pulled over here. So I get back on, go to work, whatever, and... I sat there thinking that let's say that cop did want to try and write me up on some stupid shit like that. I don't have anything 
to defend myself and I get in so many situations where I'm in almost accidents people doing crazy shit I had a guy the other day I like went in a right I was in like the right lane he just starts coming over obviously sees me because he like hits the brakes and then just keeps on fucking coming as if I'm supposed to stop and let him over after he literally almost like took out the whole front end of my car you guys because we we're going like 70 so anyway I'm just sitting there thinking I don't have anything to defend myself. Like, even if I got this officer's badge number, it's his word against mine, and they're obviously going to believe his. I was like, I really wish I would have had a dash cam in that moment because I would have taken my ass to the sheriff's office, and I don't know um, the legality of, of dash cams. Like, I don't know if you can necessarily, like press charges or something like I know they're good for an accident but you know what I mean like if I could go and be like this person was driving crazy and if they could do anything about it but I definitely felt like in a situation with a police officer that I could have went to the sheriff's department and just shown them the footage and be like listen like it's up to you whether you want to say something or not but as a citizen of this county city whatever kind of cop he was I don't know because he was undercover I'm very offended and and I just feel like with so all the stuff going on in the world like and all the craziness like I've had people run me off the road and just all this stuff and a cop is never there you know what I mean I've had someone almost run me down going 100 and a cop was never there but they take the time and waste my time and their time um, to pull me over because they think I'm on medication and had not even seen my driving for more than 10 seconds but I had no way of proving that so um, that's why I decided to get a dash cam is because of that specific, that was like the icing on the cake. Like I literally went to work that day. This was Monday. This happened and today is Friday. I literally went to work that day and fucking ordered this thing. I was like, no, or maybe it was Tuesday. I can't remember, but I was like, no, like this is the icing on the cake. I'd had so many like run-ins with people. And then after having a run-in with a cop, I was like, hell to the motherfucking no, I need a dash cam. So and I don't know how cops feel about dash cams. I really couldn't give two fucks. So here it is. <laughs> She's in her little package. Sorry, it's like I like busted through this thing. I wasn't sure how to open it. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the one that I got. And I don't think I'm going to show me installing it, but I need to go out there and install it. Um, so this is the dash cam that I chose. This is the Insignia. It says 2.7 inch display dash camera. So they have ones that don't have any display, like it's literally just the camera uh, recording. And then they have this one that displays. Um, they have some that come with mounts, some you have to buy the mount. So there's a varying degrees. For me, it was really important to have um, a really wide view. This has a 130 degree viewing angle. I would hate to have a dash cam and have it not be able to view everything. And then it does record in 1080p, which is also important for me. Like. I'm sure it's still not going to be that great because I'm in a moving car, but I definitely wanted the footage to be good, like people be able to see like license plate numbers and stuff if something does happen. And full HD recording, camera lets you take still photos, that's interesting, I didn't know that. Uh, loop recording overrides the oldest footage and prevents you from running out of storage. Oh, built-in microphone records audio inside your vehicle, okay. It says it takes a 32 gigabyte um sd card and it comes with the car adapter the suction mount the usb cable it comes with everything which is also something i wanted i wanted a device that came with everything i needed so when it comes to dash cams mine was 84.99 at best buy um they really range in prices there were some for 50 dollars all the way up to one being sold for the and it had Amazon Alexa built into it isn't Alexa Amazon I think so it had Amazon Alexa built into it so like if you put if you wanted directions you could like talk to it, it was really cool but it was four hundred dollars but it was a dash cam um, you could talk to it with Alexa and have it give you directions and shit or whatever else Alexa does so that was pretty cool so this comes with um, pretty much everything you need so that's why I wanted to try it, 85 bucks. It was kind of like a middle of the road. And then I bought a uh, Samsung 32 gigabyte card. Some come with built-in storage that automatically um, redoes itself. But yeah, I mean, it's just like anything else. There's tons of different options, but I think this one, obviously I haven't tried it yet to know 100%. 
you know, if it's great when it's in use. But as far as just the value, I think $85 and you get everything you need. Besides the memory card, that's pretty standard with cameras and all sorts of stuff like this. Um, that it's going to be it's going to be a good fit. So, I don't know. Do you guys want to come with me to like put it in my car? Is that stupid? All right. We're going to do that. <laughs> Wow, I honestly didn't know I had such a good filming angle, but this only works because my car is off. Let me... Okay. Sorry to open a door. It feels really good out in Florida today, but it's too hot with the door shut. See the sun? Anyway, if you hear any whining, that is my dogs. They have separation anxiety. Oh. Okay, so let's bust into this. I probably should have did that before I started rolling. That's okay. I just always like rip through boxes and it becomes really unfortunate when I want to return something. But I don't know if I can return something like this. An electronic. Not too bad. A bicyclist. I'm out here putting in work, sir. Okay, so there she is. Wow, look at her. It's gonna be right. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, which is fine because I thought it was gonna be bigger. <laughs> I'm sure that made sense. Okay. And we got the mount and the wires, the adapter and the instructions okay so let me figure this all out and i will show you guys the finished product oh i guess let me show you what's in here um i got this here's the mount the cord and then the a little adapter to plug it into like a cigarette lighter or something all right i'll be back okay guys so i finally got this thing figured out so there's kind of a feed. I just put the, uh, oh my god, of course, this freaking camera. Put the date and the time. And as you can see, it's recording and I can turn it side to side. And um, I'm still reading the instructions to figure it all out. But there she is, guys. There she, there she is. And then they have some people that like tuck the cords around but what I did is I just um, kept that little band on it and I'm gonna leave it there maybe tuck it under the floorboard and so this one's taken up now I have to put my phone charger and the one in the back but whatever but yeah so it's still I'm still kind of getting used to it because I feel like it's still staying on when I leave the car and I feel like having that display on might attract people to try and steal it <laughs> But yeah, oh my god, I look disgusting. And just kind of final thoughts. I mean, my only concern is um, when you're like looking at my car, you can see it there. Like you can plain as, plain as day see that there's a camera like through the windshield and stuff. So I do feel like that's going to up my chances of having someone try and break in my car to get to that. I've heard of people breaking into cars just to get to like gps's and stuff and it's sad because this is just like an 85 dollar product and for someone to like sm the the effort to smash my window for it is kind of ridiculous and then also they would have that recording and it records audio as well and could maybe use that to like figure shit out about me or like do something weird with it so Anyway, I'm not 100% on, on the wagon yet, but it's something to try. I also don't know how it's going to do in, like, the Florida heat and whatnot. But anyway, we're just going to try it and see how it goes. I don't 100% understand it yet, but I was in there just kind of fiddling with it and seeing if it turned off when the car was turned off. And it was just kind of weird, but... And it has, like, a button you push if you, like want to save the clip and so it's like oh, I gotta remember to do that but anyway so thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know in the comments below if uh, if you can relate um, if you have a dash cam or you can relate to my reasons for kind of wanting one and yeah just uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time here on Life of Chelsea bye bye